Welcome back to the Creator Club Master League Series. Today we have the transfer deadline day and I did ask you guys in the last episode should we go ahead and make a signing now because we have a few months left of the season and do we want to try to secure this promotion? Obviously Douglas Luiz was a player I talked about a lot. It's an amazing player, you know, 83 rate, the defensive midfielder, exactly the upgrade I feel like we need. But as we can see he would be pretty expensive and it's not totally sure if he would join because obviously we are still still in the championship and we want to save a little bit of money for the summer so you guys told me to go ahead and wait for him and potentially go with him um, you know if we get promoted into the Premier League but there is one thing I want to do guys and that is to go for a free agent because there still is some free agents that are really really good on this game for example Julian Brunt this guy has literally been without the club since we started this Master League. For some reason, no club wants him. You know, he's 26 years old, and I mean, just look at his stats. Right now, we obviously have Harjeep, who's a 76, but this guy would go straight into the team, obviously, if he wants to join me. So, because nobody is offering this guy a contract, apparently, I'm gonna go with the cheapest possible option. 28,000 a week, but obviously, we will give him a goal bonus um, if he does get a goal, so... Yeah, these negotiations will take two hours. That sounds good to me. I think that would be a really nice deadline day signing. And if we do sign him, he will literally become our highest rated player instantly. So let's go over to our messages then. And as we can see, he's accepted our offer. I was expecting that because, as I said, he has literally got no club. And it's looking like right now we are probably going to get promoted to the Premier League. So, yeah, he, he wants to play the Premier League in, in a few months' time. So there we go, guys. What a signing that is. We obviously have other players we want to sign more, but for now, I think um, because it was deadline day and, you know, the final preparations before the actual running of the season, I think that was a really smart one. Now, we have received an offer for Greenwood, and uh, okay, that's an interesting one. I, uh, I'm obviously not going to be selling him unless they offer me a ridiculous amount. And as we can see, just 42 million, that is almost offensive for Mason Greenwood because this guy, as you can see, 48 million market value, but he is scoring literally for us in every single game. I wouldn't even accept an offer if it was uh, 100 million at this point. He is too good for me. But yeah, let's just uh, keep skipping. We have six hours left. Is there going to be any more business? You know, there probably some other teams making some big signings right now, but... It's uh, gonna be quiet on our end. We have another offer. This is for our keeper, Crystal Palace. Okay, we'll take a look at this one. Obviously, the thing with Fabianski is that he is on 40,000 a week. By far the most salary. If we go to weekly salary and we go uh, descending, yeah, he's on 40k. The next one is Julian Brandt. So, you know, it's an expensive one, but he's our best keeper right now. He's been really good for me. Uh, so we're just gonna say no to that, but you know potentially in the summer if we do get an offer for Fabianski We might sell him and then buy another keeper uh, Because he's also getting pretty old. Wow our youth Academy players are doing great But as we can see though proper is going down in rating Montero has gone up to a 76 So that is great to see he is making more progress and two players have made the best 11 of the month Moise Keane and Kubo that is absolutely Deserved and uh, fantastic to see. So yes, guys, I think we're just going to be starting Brunt in our first game. And we're also going to give uh, Chong a, a game today because, you know, we've been starting him on the bench for, for all of the games recently. So he'll get himself a start. But yeah, Brunt, he could be an incredible signing to try to get us over the line. Because right now, we are obviously sat second in the table. We want to try to reach that number one spot today. So uh, first up, we have a game against Middlesbrough away. Not going to be an easy one at all, but um, hopefully we have enough to get three points. Ooh, that was not a bad idea. Come on, Moise Keen keeps uh, going there, but defender does well. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving the runs that our players have started to make as well. We never saw this in the first season. Obviously, if we do get promoted... We are gonna... Oh, wow. That was almost a no-goal. Gotta be careful there, but... You know, in the summer, we have plans of bringing in Rodrigo from Real Madrid. If we get to the Premier League. Because he is unhappy after that club, so... Uh, he would be pretty easy to get in. You know, Douglas Luiz. And there's more players, guys, so... This club is just gonna hopefully keep growing. 
Montero. I, I no I'm noticing that my players are really tired. I should have checked their stamina before this game. Come on, Brunt. You haven't played in years. You got to be ready to go. Look at him. He finds. Yes. There we go. Moise Keen And the shot gets blocked. That is our first okay chance of the game. Yes, Luis. He's done well. And we have got another corner. Come on. It's about time that we score from uh, one of these headpieces. Alonso. And there we have Brunt. Ooh, maybe now. What can Brown do with the ball? He's got Chong. And then, look at this. Oh my god, what a goal. That is so good. The, the passes were super precise. Exactly what I imagined we should do there. And Brown is involved yet again. Look at him, man. Already making an impact. Chong, that pass to Moise Keen was absolutely spot on. And Moise Keen, guys, he is literally scoring... In every single game recently. There we go, Montero. Incredible. And now Moise Keen on the ball. To Greenwood. He'll give it to Brunt. Brunt chips it back over to Greenwood. And that would have been maybe the best uh, assist of the series. Did you see the pass from Brunt? Here he is again. No, oh, that was unreal. That pass into Greenwood. Wow, what a goal that would have been, guys. That pass deserves a like. Oh, Middlesbrough there with a decent chance before the break. That should be it for the first uh, 45 minutes. So far, so good, guys. And then they cross. Look at that. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? That was another beautiful pass from Marcos Alonso. Ooh, look at that. Brunt gets back and helps out defensively as well. Even though he is an attacking midfielder. He saved us potentially a goal there. He's been absolutely everywhere in this game. How did no club buy him? It's unbelievable. Here we go again. But that is an offside. Oh, that is so close for Middlesbrough. <sighs> Guys, this is not a comfortable uh, result at all so far. Just one goal for Middlesbrough and they uh, could ruin the day for us. Yeah, Chung hasn't actually been that effective. Obviously, except his assist though, but that's pretty much the only thing he's done uh, in this game. You know, he might be a better player coming off from the bench. So we will make some uh, changes. We're going to be getting a Motondo on. I think we'll also get the Kubo on for these last minutes and even Ricky Pooch because, uh, oh, I mean, Harji, even though Brant has had a great debut, you know, we'll give him a little bit of rest. It's been a while since he's played. Oh no! What's this? Fabianski comes out and saves us there, but big mistakes from, um, from the midfield. There we go, Haji steals the ball. And now, can we just pass it straight to Keen? And oh, he cannot find Matondo. Unfortunately, Keen has uh, not got the most stamina. He's not the quickest of players either. Uh, we should have done better, though, with that chance. Middlesbrough now is also getting close to their goal. But, oh, no, we got to stop him. Okay, straight to Fabianski. Let's see. Oh my god, what are we doing, guys? What is going on? We get the free kick, but we almost mess it up the <laughs> by ourselves. And, you know, we've seen this happen. It used to happen more at the start of this series. We were doing stupid mistakes in defense. That is another great ball from Middlesbrough. Are they going to get their goal? No, cannot get past uh, Bartra. But again, we just... Pass it away. Alonso has got no stamina. We probably should be looking at a left back as well, guys, in the summer. Come on, Milner. No, we cannot get anywhere near them, but Tavares does a good job. Come on, Matondo. Moise Keen gives it to Kubo. That is a beautiful pass. 
And Kubo's got a bit of uh, stamina as well. He plays it back. James Milner with the shot. And come on, Keane. This is absolutely chaotic, but Matondo now. Look at Matondo, and unfortunately he loses possession. Wow, this is so end-to-end -end at the moment, but here is Middlesbrough. Oh no, they might actually get the goal, and Fabianski again comes out. What a keeper we have. He's been saving us in those situations many, many times, but it's not over. Our defending is terrible right now. Look at this, we're giving the ball away. And, oh, that's going to be a free kick. I just have the feeling that we are not supposed to be winning this game. And now the players have started to fight as well. What a chaotic game of football this has been, guys. And now they are going to have a chance to, um, to score late in the match. And make it 1-1. Let's see. Should I put a player on the line? It's uh, right into the wall. That is a terrible free kick, but I'm not mad about it. Come on, steal the ball. If we can get the ball now, then we should be able to counter in a another one, but oh, we survived, guys. We survived for now. Mo again! Oh my god, what's going on? Yeah, <laughs> I cannot believe it, guys. I had the feeling the whole game that this was going to happen. And it happens in the 90th minute. I don't even know what that was. Many defensive mistakes. And the winning streak might actually come to an end. That was terrible defense. Look at this. Seems like we have full control and then the pass is terrible. And then I don't even know what happened with Fabianski. It's a mess and a goal like that was coming to be fair. Uh, okay, we might have one final attack. Kubo gets it over to Alonso. Look how tired he is. Alonso gets it to Kubo and... Re oh, the referee blows the whistle. But guys, we even have the chance to score more goals in this game, you know. We missed some big chances and that came back to punish us. To be fair, a draw is a, is a fair result. Middlesbrough were actually doing really well in that game. So now, as we can see, Reading is five points clear. We are still at um, automatic promotion with the, the second spot. But, you know, we want to we wanna be there at the number one spot in the table. Just to make sure that nothing um, crazy is going to happen. And, you know, we might have to play playoff games or something. Let's go to our messages and uh, our scout has found a couple more um, players, but yeah, we're, uh, we're going to have to wait until the summer until we make any more signings. A couple of uh, decent options in there. As I said before, we probably should get a left back, so this is a potential uh, one we could be signing in the summer. We definitely have to win our next game, which is going to be at home against Preston. That should be three points right there, but we got to take a look at the lineup. I think for this game, we're actually going to give Greenwood a start at the striker. Because, you know, when he was playing for me as a um, as a striker, not a second striker, he was literally scoring, like, multiple goals a game. I feel like since I put him to a second striker, he's not been too much involved. So let's see, guys, if we'll, we'll get some more out of Greenwood in this game. Here we go. This is where we like to see Brandt on the ball and... It almost goes uh, over to Kubo. These in-behind passes, guys. Over the top balls. They're so effective. Let's see. Can we finally do something from a corner? I think... Uh... Oh, wow. Wish we were more effective from set pieces. Brandt, look at him. Oh, my God. Yes. Matondo, anyone in there? I would love to get an early goal, guys. Let's see. Back in to Ricky Pouge. Yes, to Greenwood. And Greenwood's shot gets blocked. But a positive start though to the game. We also started the previous game good, so... You know, we gotta... We gotta keep it going like that for the whole match. These championship games are not easy, especially when you play so often, you know. There's so many games. 
Brandt on the ball. Look at Brandt. Julian Brandt and it ended up on his left foot. Ooh, that was a close one. And uh, Greenwood doesn't meet the ball. Come on, Brunt gets there. And now, what can we do? Greenwood on the ball. He's got Kubo to the left. Matondo on the right. I think we'll play to Matondo. First touch. And uh, shot gets blocked. Oh, that's a long touch. But it's worked out. Come on, Kubo. Alonso now. Just be patient in the build-up. Come on, Matondo, don't lose the ball there. Yes, referee, give me the give me the free kick. Come on. Is this a shooting range? Let me uh let me see. Ooh. I mean we do have Brunt. Should we just uh, test the shot here? Let's go for it. Julian Brunt with the shot and it almost worked from 40 meters or something. Look at that. That is a really nice pass. And now Mason Greenwood is up against the keeper. And it is uh, very close. I mean, he couldn't really do much more from that angle. What an attempt. And um, we, still, we, we still don't have our goal yet. I don't like it, guys. But maybe now. Look at that run from Kubo. Yes, what a pass from Greenwood. Kubo! And it's wide. Oh no. Please not. Preston hasn't even had an attack yet. That would have been terrible, guys, to go 1 0 down. But this has, I mean, we have been dominating this first half. We just haven't got our goal yet. So I think we're just going to be sticking to the same lineup. Not going to change anything. But if it stays nil-nil, we might have to do that after 60 minutes. That was a deflected shot as well. Extremely dangerous. And uh, we get very lucky there. Come on. Oh, we get lucky again. And now Julian Brandt on the ball. Gives it to Matondo, what a pass! Matondo has missed it! No, I gotta feel a little bit here for Julian Brandt because he's giving so many unbelievable passes but my players just cannot finish. Look at that, it was perfect. I could have even kept running there with Matondo but... Uh, when are we gonna get our goal? Nicely read from Tavares. Gives it to Matondo. Guys, we need to see some runs. I'm seeing no movement from our players. Here we go again. Into Julian Brandt. And he can find Mason Greenwood. And we haven't been able to score. Guys, I think it is time we make some subs because... Yeah, we gotta do something now. It's just 20 minutes left of the game. So, uh, we'll probably change Greenwood over to a second striker. I wouldn't be surprised if Kubo... I mean, uh, Keane literally gets a goal right now. Uh, that wouldn't shock me at all because he's been scoring in every single match. Come on. Maybe one of the last attacks of the game. Julian Brandt. Yeah, it was too late. I, I knew he was offside. I didn't expect Moise Keane to make uh, such an earlier run. So, yeah, this is looking bad, guys. We are going to be dropping points at home. To Preston, you know, this is towards the end of the season. Our players are starting to get tired and, you know, this is just a complete mess right now. But maybe, maybe we're going to get one chance. There we go, Moise Keane. What a pass that was from Brunt. And Moise Keane gives it to Chong and we've actually done it. Yet again, it's not going to be an assist for Brunt, but... I'm sure he's happy with the three points. Moise Keane went with the pass. The substitutions literally made the difference. And guys, it is deserved. We have been fighting like crazy to get this goal. And it comes in the 87th minute. What a ball that was from Brandt, by the way. Unbelievable. And then, unselfish. Secure the goal. And the three points.
Oh, maybe we could get another one. Here is Moiskin again. And look at that. The Preston defender is not happy. Just send him off right now. That is a straight red card. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is not looking good. Our best striker has got to come off, I think. And we don't have any more subs to make either. What a terrible tackle that was. And... He absolutely did not want Moise Keane to get his goal. And he takes the red card. Wow. So Marcos Alonso is going to be taking this one. Moise Keane is undergoing treatment. Let's see. Final thing that happens. And it's almost a goal. But um, yeah, guys. I, I hope that's not going to be anything bad for uh, Moise Keane. Hopefully he'll be, um, you know back for us very soon but this is dangerous when you are coming close to the end of the season there is injuries there is low stamina fatigue and if you do get a bad tackle you know it could end up in a bad injury so the mood is a little bit weird because we have won the game after 88 minutes but I didn't want more skin to to get injured so Let's uh, go right now and take a look at our messages from the doctor and see hopefully everything is uh, okay. We uh, are still in second, but just uh, two points behind Reading and of course just one point down to third. So this is all still very, very exciting and uh, we are in a title race. We are in a in a playoff race. Everything, guys, this is going to be a, a crazy run-in for the rest of the season. Let's go to the messages and as we can see, he's just got a bruise, so that should be fine. If we go over to the uh, player status, I think he'll be out for, yeah, just four days. So that is at least some good news. But uh, we'll probably be without him for the next game though. So uh, yeah, guys, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. The next episode is going to be out very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.